Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Thursday the 21st of December. The local media headlines today. The judgment of Cornwall Council leader Linda Taylor has been called into question over her decision to sell a publicly owned farmhouse and around 20 acres of land for about a million pounds. The farmhouse is part of a working agricultural holding on the Roseland Peninsula which currently has 100 acres and which also has a thriving bed and breakfast business. Three councillors have managed to call in Councillor Taylor's decision for review. An extraordinary meeting is going to be held tomorrow to discuss it. Now, do you remember that at this time last year we were all getting very excited about Richard Branson's rocket? The UK Space Agency has just published a summary of the lessons learned. It's only eight pages and between the lines its message is let's not do that again. Spare a thought for parish councillors in Constantine who decided to ask the public to decide the future of the local church hall. And spare a thought too for town councillors in St Ives. When it comes to risk assessments they're damned if they do and damned if they don't. The BBC told us about a police raid which found a thousand suspected stolen toys at Cambrai near Camborne. A 41-year-old woman has been arrested on suspicion of money laundering. It follows a police operation designed to combat shoplifting. The Cornish Times covered an asbestos-related inquest into the death of a Pensilva man who used to work at military bases. Pirate FM reported a dog attack in Penzance. The Falmouth Packet is concerned about plans to introduce car parking charges at Penryn. And finally, Cornwall Live tells us about Christmas lights you can see from the A30 at Fratton. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.